what's up what's good what's going on family so let's jump in and get a daily increase a good old-fashioned daily increase just see what energy is on offer and how can Sagittarius make the most of that energy okay so guys this is going to be for your Sun Moon rising North Node Venus as well as that ninth house very particular messages here on the Mandula Awakening for your ninth house but even with that being said guys let's just take what resonates and bless on us with the rest okay Thank you, sir. So the, the, the energy on offer for Sagittarius is Mother Mary. Miraculous encounter. So I definitely feel like that there's some sort of divine experience um, that, is, that you're going to um, in, in experience here. Um, that's the energy that's on offer. And Spirit is saying, don't be afraid of stepping into this energy. Don't be, don't be afraid of this, of, of being powerful. Um, it says heighten awareness, make peace with your thoughts in your world. I do feel like that there are some things that you're just making peace with and no longer allowing yourself to be in, in, in mental uh, conflict with. You know what I'm saying? Like this is something that you're doing for you. Sorry about that, family. Um, but uh, so I definitely feel like that there's like this deciding to no longer be at war and at peace with certain things. What is the archetype that my lovely Sagittarian Ninth House Collective is currently standing in? Thank you, Spirit. The Queen of Pentacles. See, here's the thing. This is the Queen of Pentacles where, like, there's this energy of needing to really make sure that the home, like, your life is balanced out. Really taking care of oneself. But here is saying, like, where someone should be really taking care of themselves there is still this energy or this desire about making someone pay or like for like worried about somebody righting their wrongs to you and spirit is saying worry less about someone righting their wrongs or what someone's karma is going to be for the way that they treated you um or in or even if it's not even that much it's worrying about the next person coming into your life there isn't in a time of needing to really pour into yourself the moment that you decide to decide to pour into yourself that's when what this encounter will happen and that's when it can be divine but trying to force it takes away the availability for the miracle to just sneak up on you yeah the queen wants sitting on your throne allowing it to come to you Yeah, I definitely feel like that um, the pattern of like what you do during separation, there's something shifting about that here. Solitude, definitely going through some sort of separation. And um, the way that you are responding and reacting during this separation, there's something changing about this. There's a pattern that is being stopped, okay? Um, this, this, this solitude is needed. Um, it's, it, it is, there is something being unveiled to you during this moment of solitude. And it may seem like so far away. But the, the more that you're willing to dive into the unknown, the closer you get to this illumination. Yeah, wow. The, the, the closer you get, and look what the illumination is, breaking free. That's beautiful. Because Spirit is trying to get you tapped back into this free spirit here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ooh, we got boss and archetype here. So, okay, somebody's trying to build their own business. Um, someone is definitely uh, taking um, major boss moves in order to get into a leadership position. Someone is definitely mastering their destiny. <laughs> like somebody's building something, honey. Beautiful energy here. And it's going to require a moment of solitude.
All right, Spirit, what's going on here? Guys, if this is your message or you're enjoying this show, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It does help um, spread the messages out to the collective as well as just leave me and my team some feedback, understanding that we are hitting home or whether we're not hitting home. Okay. All right. So, baby, we got the Four of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, the Emperor, and the Six of Wands. So, you know, honestly, the worst of a situation, the High Priestess, my goodness, this is beautiful. The worst of a situation is over. However, I feel like that what you're leaving behind is something that you have once considered your wish fulfillment. So, let's just say that... Um, I don't know. I'm going to use this story as an example. Um, let's just say that you have always wanted to be an attorney, right? So you go to some, you work at a law firm and you get, and you thinking that this is your dream job, blase, blase, blase. But now you're at a point in your life where it's like, okay, I want my own law firm. And so in order to be put in the, you have to sever ties with this law firm, even though it gave you so much, it's something that you, this position was wish fulfillment at one point in time, but now it's like holding on to this is preventing you from acquiring, like you don't have the, like you don't, it's, it's not tangible for you to work full time here at this law firm and build your law firm. Hell, it may even be against what's in the contract there at that law firm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like there's a bitter sweetness with severing ties with something in order for you to go and grasp a hold of it. And Spirit is saying the way through this challenge is to step into this emperor-like position. And y'all know how I feel about the emperor. The one thing for sure is you things for certain. The emperor has to make temporary, like, the emperor has to make decisions that are in the best and highest good for his empire. And sometimes that is a temporary sacrifice for the greater good of his of the collective of the empire. So this is stepping into an authoritative leadership leadership like position to make that decision, right? Once you do so, what's on the other side of that is victory and success winning. So I do feel like that victory and success is on the other side of this situation here. Um, but what is this? Okay, so Kiana, what's the situation? The four of wands. This is either your relationship. This is either your stability. But either way this goes, what this is saying is in order to, uh, to strengthen your foundation, you are leaving something behind. Something is getting off the train. But at that same token, that is giving you exactly what you need to strengthen the framework for your, like your foundation is being solidified as this person is getting off of the train. Okay. And I understand that this person could, this person or this situation, whatever it is, because it could be a job. It's just whatever it is for you in your life. It is getting off. It is like, there's no ands, ifs or buts about it. The opportunity here is the five of pentacles, which further can lead me to believe that this is either a job that has um, sustained you for up until some time, up until this point, or this is a person that you have felt like, you know, when things got tough, you could always rely on this, like this energy. At least they gave you money. You know what I'm saying? Or at least they gave you a place to stay. Or at least they helped you with the bills. Whatever the case may be, but this there is this energy of it getting off the train. Like this is their stop. Um, but in spirit is saying, but you're the emperor. You got like step into your masculine energy within you. Step into that divine masculine energy and make. A, like call a shot listen to your intuition yeah wow for some of y'all y'all walk straight into your divine counterpart okay like it's like the moment that you make this decision it's like you literally step into that divine masculine energy and you call in this divine feminine energy absolutely and there's immense love there but you got to leave someone behind first. What's the four of wands here, spirit? What's the four of wands? Ace of swords. The truth has been spoken. Everything I just said is the four of wands. Truth and clarity on the foundations. Baby, you can already run into your divine counterpart. 
you're getting ready to run into your divine counterpart but it uh, but it's only once you're able to embrace this like some somebody is having to cut ties with somebody baby you gotta have to cut ties with somebody you got a business partner that's not business they they're not partnering at this thing it's not partnering there's this it's it's, it's, it's lopsided okay this person takes 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 but this person doesn't pour into the situation anymore So it's time to make an executive decision and sever ties with an old dream, per se. Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, and it was turning around on the table. But I don't have reversals in this deck. That's how I was able to know that it was turning into the reverse. But baby, this Seven of Pentacles coming out, it's not giving you, it's no longer giving you the, the rewards. It's not yielding. Mm-mm. There's no harvest to what this person, th this person's seed is not harvesting. And does that break your heart when you accept this reality? Does that cause some sort of pain? Is that requiring you to accept some sort of loss? Absolutely. Absolutely. Absolutely it does. Absolutely. I'm not going to sit here and act like that. I don't see the discomfort in this situation. I'm not going to sit here and act like I don't see the dissatisfaction and letting this go. But the fact that the matter is, is either you're going to take this or either we're going to accept the dissatisfaction of letting this person go in the present moment or the, you're going to suffer the, the betrayal of it only getting worse in the further down the road. You can't have what you ask asking for until you're willing to accept the loss. Make peace with what make peace with what is. Make peace with what is and gracefully move forward. That's under the emperor. And start making plans from the silver lining perspective. The four cups. Yeah, it's time to like, this is saying like the moment that you can um, gain this renewed sense, like you're going to, there's going to be this renewed interest into the world. There is, there is eight of wands. And it's like, once you come out of this apathy energy, success and victory is yours. The only thing that is stopping you from seeing that there's something greater out there is the perspective at which you're looking at this. That you're looking at this, there's an undertone of doom and gloom because of all the effort that you have put into this situation. And I do understand that. But this is just understanding that this was always just a chapter in a portion of your life. Unfortunately, it was never meant to go the long distance. It may have felt like that and the universe may have needed you to feel like that so that you can grasp the full in it like you could grasp the full experience of this chapter but this chapter is now coming to a completion it's time to move forward and once you can accept that there are beautiful things on the other side here for you continuing on in this chapter any further becomes too too much of a burden here all right, Spirit, let's see. What's some new? Let me get three num numerologies, please, Spirit. Three numerologies. Thank you. So, first, we're going to start with 999 nine, nine. release. Absolutely. Um, balance, finances, success, success, wealth, cycles. What goes around comes around. Your current circumstances are ending. So, you might take advantage of better ones. If you are experiencing a significant change or conclusion, re uh, viewing your life as a series of chapters may be helpful. How can you make room for something new to emerge? My goodness, didn't the universe just wrap that up? Great blessings. Absolutely. Um, Self-love, boundaries, needs, good vibes, wisdom, understanding, letting go. Nourish yourself, your needs, 
boundary uh, desires and boundaries let go of things that are weighing you down make space for something meaningful and expand your spirit to all areas of your life that big love opportunity or job needs to squeeze in somewhere y'all this message is beautiful and then we have one 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 at the top of the deck intuition um uh moderation patience flow clarity joy movement self-realization taking action unconditional love time time to implement long cherished ideas you're on the right track towards making your dream and vision uh, vision a reality the right people circumstances and resources are being sent your way happiness and new opportunities are at hand trust in the process Y'all, I love you, and I absolutely hope that you're able to harness this energy and absolutely make the most of it. If this was your message, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button down below. Uh, and if this is really your message, leave me a comment. Hit that subscribe button. And in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward, let's choose peace. Love and light.